Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Simple Colors White Hot and LA Color Opalescent. I started off with the Peel Ease as my base coat and here is Simple Colors White Hot and it's got some shimmer in it. I don't know if you were able to see it but I could totally see it in the bottle and I could see it while I was applying it to my nails. But after I do what I'm going to do to this, you're not going to really see it. <laughs> But it had a pretty good formula. It was a little runny, not too bad. Um, I was able to get away with, I believe, two coats. We'll see. Capping my tip. And you guys know white polish is not my favorite to apply. I like wearing it. I like looking at it. I just can't stand putting it on. So I like ones like this that aren't just a straight up cream that have a little something going on they seem to apply a little better for me so there we go with that second coat i do believe i'm gonna have to go in for a third though hi buddy he agrees second coat second coat and i don't know that all of the nails needed a second coat there was just a couple of them that really you know i could still see a little bit going on with it and i probably still could have gotten away with the two considering i was doing stuff with it you know, a ninny's gonna go with the ninny ways. We're gonna s just go on and slap some of this Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat on this. And then we're gonna head on into the rest of the manicure. Cabin that tip, even with the top coat. And here is the LA Colors number 98. And this is Opalescent. And it's just a beautiful glitter. I saw this the other day and I had to have it. It's got little bitty tiny gold glitters in it, and then it's got bigger gold glitters, red glitters, and then some matte pink ones. I had to have it. It just looks so pretty in the bottle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and confess that, you know, this looks really cute like that, and y y you would think I would leave it alone. But you guys know me. You know I'm not going to leave it alone. So there we go. I'm doing that on my thumb and my ring finger. And I do kind of brush it on, but then I start doing the little dabbing and scooting and moving glitters around because I want a little bit more even displacement of them. You know. You know, sometimes we got to do what we do to get what we want. And there we go. I'm going to be using You Are Beautiful number 17 today and Clean Colors Metallic Pink and Clean Color Metallic Red. And my Bundle Monster Monocle Stamper, my Clear Jelly Scraper. And here we go. I'm just dotting. I'm going to do kind of like the squishy, smushy stamping today. You know, blend those on the plate. I really like doing this. Come on, come on. There we go. Before it dries, you just get such a neat look with it. Kind of marbleized. I love it. So we're going to do this on three of the nails today. And you can see I'm not following any real order. Uh, I did reds first last time and pinks first this time. <laughs> la 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 la. There we go. And there we go again. I am so sorry I don't know what's happening with my film but then we go so we're gonna take some of this tape and we're gonna clean up some of this excess off of my skin and I really do like this and I'm gonna overdo it you're gonna see I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup and of course you know while I'm doing this cleanup I'm looking at it thinking hmm what can I do so you're going to see. Probably should have left it right there. But I'm going to take a little bit of that glitter from my accent nails. And I'm just going to kind of dab it in around on these other nails. You know, hoping to tie it in. And I'll be honest, I know I'm kind of nay in this. But I really did like this manicure. Even though I kind of went totally crazy on it. It still was a likable manicure. So... You know, it wasn't all bad. I don't want you thinking I, don't, I didn't like it. I'm going to top it off with some Posh Top Coat. Because, see, at this point, I think I'm done. I think, yep, I've done it. I'm done. 
There we go. I'm finished. You guys know I'm not finished. Nope. So there we go. Got to break Woody out and do a little bit of clean it. And we're going to top coat this pinky. And then I'm going to show you what I did. I am going to show you a picture of it just like this. Because originally, this was it. This was all I was going to do. Promise you. But when I started editing the video, I just kept looking at it. I kept thinking, well, actually, I know a couple of my friends are going to say, suggest what I'm going to end up doing to it. So, we'll see. So, there is the first swatch photo. <laughs> And now I'm going to go in and use this nail cream liquid tape stuff. And this was a bad choice for this particular deal. This stuff, I don't even remember where I got this one. But this is a, not a good, good one to use for what I'm fixing to do. This is more like glue. It's not latex. It's like Elmer's glue with some food coloring in it. And um, let me just say... This might be part of why I was nay nay in this manicure a little bit is because of the situation. You know, when you ride the struggle brush, sometimes you blame, you know, some of the passengers. And this passenger right here made me crazy. You'll see here in just a little bit. I'm not even going to show you all of it, just some of it. Just because I want y'all to know, I too struggle. But I decided I wanted full coverage glitter on these two accent nails. So I'm sponging that stuff on. Decided I wanted bling, bling, bling. And I get it. I'm telling you. And I was really happy with that part of it. I did go overboard. But I liked it. You know, when you're in the mood for some of that bling-tastic, you're in the mood for it. But I'm tapping this all in. Going crazy on it. Lots of gold, a little bit of red and pink peeking out. Really did like this. And, you know, I got it at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So, you know, I really thought, no, eh, let's just go on and do the dabbing method. Let's sponge that on. Because I can go back and get another one. So, I'm going to try this tape trick, trying to get that um, liquid stuff off. Now, it kind of looks like it's coming up okay. But I'm just going to tell you, it did not. It was like a gummy mess. I don't know if the nail polish reactivated it and made it wet again. And this view looks pretty good. But the other finger was straight up awful. That ring finger, nightmare. So I am going in with my cleanup brush and some acetone. Trying to get this junk off my finger. Because normally cleanup doesn't bother me. But when it's frustrating cleanup like this. You know, glitter sticking to everything. Look, even Woody's having to help. I mean, please. That's bad if Woody's got to get up involved in that. It's, it's just... He's going above and beyond. But I do get it cleaned up. At least pretty cleaned up. You know, it ends up taking a couple of more hand washings to get the rest of the glitter off. And I am tapping it down because I want it smooth. There we go. I'm going to put a couple of coats of this American Classics Jellish on here. Um, it's not a gel polish. It dries with air. It's, um, But it's a very thick top coat. And it works great for, you know, glitter mayonnaise. And that's why I keep it around. Because I definitely use this when I've got, like, a bunch of glitter. Especially if they're trying to stick up a little. But would it get a workout? Oh, he's he needs a raise. So there we go. There we go. Bling out. So here goes that second coat of jealous. Jealous. Not jealous like I'm jealous of you, but jealous as in jealous. <laughs> I do love this stuff though. I used to buy an indie product that was called Glitter Food. Um, and I was really happy to find something that I could buy at Sally's that was comparable. So there we go. We got a little cleanup done. And now we're going to put the posh top coat on it to try to help that dry down. My video footage was horrible, so I'm just not going to put y'all through that abuse. I did put the posh on there, though, because um, I got to dry all that thickness down. There we have it. 
So here's my final swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.